here we are National Comedy Center I know we did a video here before but we want to make sure we show you guys the updated things that they've done because of coronavirus one thing I'm super excited for and I'm not going to tell you because you need the object of surprise like we do <laughs> here we go This is the work badge when I called and spoke to the guy in charge that he was speaking of. Inside here is a complimentary set of headphones to listen to the exhibits. The wristband you leave attached to here. And here's a stylus to hit the screen with. So, so we're going to walk you through this because we couldn't really do it on the last one. It just wasn't working right. Or it was working, but I couldn't get it. Got to get your picture. Well, oh. okay, hold still. Here, use the stylus. Here we go. This is going to be fun to watch you do this. That's not that bad. I'll take it, whatever. Oh, pick an avatar. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> A monkey. Teddy Ruxpin. So I'm going to be Teddy Ruxpin. Now, onto the sense of humor. So you pick... Funny people I like. Pick all the ones Carlin, that you like. Carlin, Reiner, Murphy, Hope, Cook. I know it's all right. Don't know him. Conan and Brian, I'm good without. And now you get to pick your favorite TV shows. So some of them, you guys won't be surprised. I like Friends, Choose. How I Met Your Mother, Fresh Prince, South Park, Happy Days, Chappelle Show, Different Strokes, Community, look at that. Home Improvement, Taxi, I wonder I if they have community Lucy. stuff here. They probably do. Big Bang, Simpsons, Office I now like. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Raymond, All in the Family, Golden Girls, Bewitched. Now, now you pick up all the movies that you like. Caddyshack, Baba Shop, Friday, Ghostbusters, Happy Gilmore, Girl the Kumar, Clerks, Austin Powers, American Pie, Blues Brothers. Have you seen my baseball? Ooh. And now you have to select the projects you know and love. Oh, I'm not really sure what podcasts. these are. Oh, they're podcasts? So let's see if our office ladies are up here. Because we both like the office ladies. I don't know if they're... It's like a mixture. I think there's some podcasts. It oh, looks yeah, like there's some other things. Yeah. Oh, it's got cartoonists. See, I'd love to talk soon. There's a Dennis the Menace so up there. Where's Dennis? Right oh, there. there he is. Uh, Tosh.0 is pretty funny. I don't... Oh, Peanuts. Who doesn't love the Peanuts? Or Onion? Or Ziggy? Do you remember Ziggy? And then you press continue. Okay, learn and now you have who you are. You put in your age range. Cover your We're eyes. We're going to cover folks. your eyes. There you go. Okay. I'm sure you guys saw our first video and it showed at the hologram theater, but unfortunately, this is one of the things that's shut down due to COVID. I'm telling you guys right now, it's really nice that it's pretty empty. We're like some of the only ones in here. The one thing I love is that they have the, some of the clothes that they wore. And any of you office people, I know Harold Ramis is known for the Ghostbusters, but he also had a big part in helping with the office. There's one thing that any comedy fan, period, is going to love. The legendary Charlie Chaplin. The one and only, it's his cane. There's his cane. I never saw that the last time we came. I didn't realize his cane was so tiny and skinny. And of course, our beloved Lucille. Oh, 
seal ball polka dot dress. The table to join. The show will oh, begin soon. Too. Hey, Midwesterners, thanks for coming. Band in. And there I am, the little squirrel. Let's see what this is all about. Show the table. The table is interactive. So that's where you tap in your stuff. I'm your MC today. It's an intimate crowd, and I'm big on intimate. Let's start the show. First, we'll kick off with some outstanding comedy based on everyone's sense of humor. To do that, let's find the type of humor you have in common. Uh-oh. This is going with us together. We've got a match for surprising comedy. This next comic will keep you on your toes. So look out for Joe Wong. You see it takes all of your choices that you pick at the first uh, computers and it sticks all together. I see a lot cocky bumper stickers. <laughs> like um, my son is an honor student or... Uh... I am going to start by saying that I might sound like a big baby, but I have tears in my eyes right now because I can't believe that we are literally looking at Fozzie Bear, the one from The Muppet Show, 1976 to 81, he was used on The Muppet Show. Look at him. Check him out. You know you all watched him as a child and even as an adult. Hey, Christy. What? Where is Fozzie right now? He's in Chautauqua, Waka, Waka, Waka <laughs> County. <laughs> Here's Marmaduke again. I know he was on the last vlog, but you can't come here and not show Marmaduke. Most strips don't talk about at all. In case we didn't put this on last time, which I don't know if we did or didn't, uh, right there, Al, Weird Al Yankovic's uh, accordion, and the legendary Dr. Demento, you know, they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. It's his hat, the one that he would always wear. Yeah, it's really hard. There's like really bad glares. Sorry, guys. And then the Camp Granada. And the lyrics, that's Alan Sherman. He did the song, Hello, Mata. Hello, Fada. And that's what those lyrics are. Going with the whole we're old soul thing, this is Rose Marie's outfit from Dick Van Dyke. Doug is going to make a meme. Hey, Teddy Ruxpin. I know. Perfect for me, right? So it goes through this whole thing of how memes are created and how they start and how they just... What I'll the purpose of them is. Are. How they go all over. Mm. And then you get to pick whether you use a classic one, start something new, or use something that's been started by someone here. And this is what Doug chose. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, we created My Butt is on Fire, Zeppelin style. <laughs> Done. And then it'll go Save. into your profile and get emailed to you. 
So all these cool things you do at the Comedy Center, you end up getting to take home essentially as free suit. Because when you do scan your wristband, it you put saves. in your email address and it all saves. So we now I should to... also mention, because of social distancing, they only have one of these right now. Oh, ding dang. Doug just found Goldie Hawn's outfit from Laughing. <laughs> And they have a whole section of SNL stuff. And then this room over here, they have it all kind of shut down because of everything that's going on. Now there is one more thing too that's really important. Over here is Dan Aykroyd's motorcycle that he used to drive back and forth when he was filming SNL. Yeah, this was and in he our... he actually drove this in here. This was in our last vlog, too. So, again, we'll have it all linked. Here is the desk and chairs from the Larry Sanders show. With the late Gary Shanley. Here's another section that they have shut down because of COVID. Um, it's a, basically a game that you would play with the people that you're with to see if you can get them to laugh. It's really fun. It's kind of a bummer they have it shut down, but I understand. Here's some stuff from the office. It has the, the shooting drafts and the different scenes. So they have this one here uh, for the weight loss episode. Then they have Moroccan Christmas down here. This one's from the dinner party. Oh, that's and finale. this is from the final notes, the final episode. One more thing to go hand in hand. And here's the 40-year-old virgin stuff that Doug was talking about. Including the helmet, the little Iron Man toy, his watch. They have a section downstairs that's for adults only. It has uh, a lot of swear words down here, a lot of uh, vulgar jokes. And they have these funny little boxes and doors you can open. And right now for COVID, they have a table of gloves and hand sanitizer. That way you can put gloves on and you can still participate and open up the doors and the windows. You can't deny that they're doing things really safely here at the National Comedy Center. Yeah, we've been two of maybe 10 people that we've seen walking around exploring everything. So they're scheduling everybody really well. And they are making sure to go around and use uh, sanitizer to clean up after when people do touch some things. And coming soon, American Pie. I'm really curious what they're going to put in here. Hopefully a pie. Doug found uh, George Carlin's Dirty Word Scroll. I won't zoom in because, well, we don't need to see that stuff. Not on our channel, because we're perfect, right, Doug? <laughs> Doug, what is it that we just found? Bob Hope, one of his USO uniforms, and we all know what Bob Hope did for the armed services, so I think it's important you guys see it. They have this area that's like a little comedy club. They got chairs set up, and usually they have drinks whether it's wine or beer or coffee or pop, but it is closed right now, sadly. So that was our visit to the National Comedy Center during COVID times. A lot different, but still the same. Little bum, they did, took down all of the office uh, uh, props. Memorabilia. Props. Um, it's actually where the 40-year-old uh, Virgin and Happy Gilmore golf clubs were. But I think they did a really good job. It wasn't crowded. They were timing when people were coming in. We got a cool little stylus and some earbuds to and take home with us. And here's some irony. We ended up seeing the very Fozzie Bear 
that we were supposed to see when we went to the Center for Puppetry Arts in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, so it was really cool to see it brought tears to our eyes. Brought Don't a drop. lot of tears to my Don't eyes. Drop this mask. Okay, now I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. stepping on it so it wouldn't blow away. <laughs> it brought a lot of tears to my eyes because it's literally the Fozzie that was used in most of the run of the Muppet Show, if not the whole run. So, so now we are heading off to the uh, Lucy Desi Museum. We've shown that to you guys before. I can link it below. I'm not going to vlog in there because it's stuff Unless that we there's see. something that's of utmost importance. Yeah, that wasn't uh, shown before. But we're just going to finish out the day in Jamestown, might record a few other things. We'll see what happens. And then, heading home. Back to Chi Town we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, see you soon. Find an adventure <laughs> in all that you do. Love you guys. See ya.